Hey everyone, welcome back to Authentic Tech. Launchers on Android are a super easy and convenient way to customize your phone. Unfortunately, it can sometimes be a bit hard to differentiate the good from the bad. Fortunately, I've gathered some awesome launches in this video that you can put on your phone right now. Let's get started. I assume most of you saw this coming, but first up is Nova Launcher. This has sort of been the go-to launcher for almost a decade now, and it's just such a good launcher. There's so many customization options, and just so much freedom to do whatever you want, and you can really create some awesome setups with it. And I'll here, I'll just show some setups right here. And they're just beautiful and incredible. and. It's something you'd never think you could do, but it's actually possible. And most of these were made using Nova Launcher's customization tools. So if you want to customize, you got to use Nova. So EV Launcher has only one focus, and that is speed. And I gotta say, it is one of the fastest launchers that I've ever used. It's super smooth and, of course, there isn't as much customization as something like Nova Launcher. There's still enough to keep you satisfied. There's also this EV feed, which has some news stories as well as the weather, which is, I honestly prefer to the Google feed, simply for the better design and it's more responsive. Overall, if you have a lower end device or you just want a really fast experience, EV is a great launcher. Poco Launcher is another light and fast launcher, but it packs in some extra features. The app drawer automatically categorizes your apps by type, which is actually surprisingly convenient. And the search bar in the app drawer is at the bottom, so it's easier for one-handed use. Unfortunately, there's nothing like Google Now or the EV feed, so you'll be stuck without news on your home screen. But that's really the only issue with this launcher. Just a great, fast launcher. Launcher Launcher is sort of like the light version of Nova Launcher. There's no Prime version and you get all the features for completely free, but there's not quite as so many customization options. Fortunately, you still get the Google feed and you can still change your icon pack and all the nice things like that. I personally use Launcher Launcher as my launcher of choice simply because it's easy to use, but still offers enough customization for my needs. So just in general, I would highly recommend Launcher. If Launcher is the light version of Nova Launcher, Rootless Pixel Launcher is the light version of Launcher. It's just basically a pixel launcher. It's just all the features you need and none that you don't. There's not that much customization, just some basic theming, but still, for a simple launcher, it's pretty great. Niagara is more of a digital detox type of launcher. All you get are your key apps in the row on your home screen, and then the rest of your apps are a swipe away, but you have to use the little letter sidebar on the side to access them. It's great for sort of getting off your phone for a few days, so it's cool for that. If Niagara isn't minimal enough for you, before launcher should do the job. It turns your apps into just lines of text on your home screen, and you can only have a certain number. And then to the right is the rest of your apps, and to the left is your filter notifications to reduce distractions. Super minimal, great for getting away from your phone. Microsoft Launcher is, in my opinion, the best launcher for productivity. There's lots of integrations with your Windows PC, and lots of convenient features for quickly getting stuff done and searching the web. There's some easy search bars and some quick toggles within your dock. So, Overall, just for some different experiences and some useful features, I would highly recommend trying out Microsoft Launcher. The final launcher for this video is Smart Launcher, and true to its title, it is pretty smart. It organizes your apps by category, and they're all easily accessible. And overall, it just has some smart ways to keep everything organized and still looking great. It automatically themes based on your wallpaper, 
and there's also a Google Feed integration, and just some useful ways to set it up however you like. Now obviously, it's not a Nova, La Nova Launcher type of customization, but nothing else really is. So if you're just looking for an easy way to get organized without much effort, Smart Launcher, pretty great. So, those are my top launchers for 2020. I hope this helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you're in a good mood, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. This is Authentic Tech, and I'll see you in the next video.